marbled paper was created with shaving cream and acrylic paint, or shaving cream and food coloring, either or. I hope you will enjoy this. It is a very simple process and it creates a background that we can utilize in our junk journaling and in our art journaling. I think it makes a very interesting background. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. My goal is to create 10 to 15 minute videos that are direct to the point and hopefully provide you with some valuable information. Hope you'll take a moment to subscribe and that notification bell lets you know when I upload additional content. So for today, we're going to make this marbled paper and we're utilizing shaving cream, not the gel, but the cream. I bought a cheap bottle at the dollar store. I'm going to dot in two colors of acrylic paint. I'm utilizing turquoise and violet. After I get the color in, I will take the skewer and just marble or mix the skewer. I go back and forth and then up and down to kind of create that swirl type effect. So once I'm happy with how that looks, I'm going to lay this wax paper sheet down to catch my, catch my finished piece. And I'm just going to tap that paper down. Now I didn't level out the shaving cream the first time, so I'm going to smush it down a little bit more to get a broader coverage. I'm using the same shaving cream for the second application or the second pull of paper. And I am just re-swirling with the skewer and I'll push that second piece of paper down and there we go. And I'm letting it sit for three minutes to let that color penetrate into the paper. I don't want to pull that shaving cream off too soon. So I'm going to do about three or four pieces and then we'll go back and start to pull the shaving cream off. So for this purpose, I'm still utilizing that same, that same pan. And there we go. So that's our final purple pole or one of the final purple poles. So let's just get a last little bit out of here. We'll scooch that over, take the ruler. I have a acrylic or a plastic ruler that I'm using and I'm dumping that excess shaving cream back into that pan and there is that color as it has penetrated that piece of paper. So lightly scraping the paper. If you scrape too hard, which I learned from experience, you will actually um, rough up the paper or you will pull some of the uh, you know, I'm not sure what to call it, but you'll you'll scratch the paper or, or put a, a mark in the paper, which you don't want. So very lightly with that acrylic ruler to pull that shaving cream off. And this one is kind of light, but I, I think I like it. So I'm going to leave it that way. And I'm just setting those on another table that I have set up to dry. So for this next application, I'm using this spatula to kind of get that shaving cream leveled out a little bit more before I put that first piece of paper down. And this is just all of that leftover um, shaving cream that I pulled off of those initial sheets. So I'm adding a little more acrylic paint. And I added just the turquoise because I thought it had enough violet in it. And we'll just give a couple more pulls. Now I've cleaned my pen. I've taken it over to the hose and rinsed it out. And now we are ready to go back in with a couple of additional colors. So I'm adding some greens in. And we will take a look at how those mix up. And let's just see what happens.
is a messy process. So forewarned is forearmed. I did this on my deck and utilized the hose to clean out my pan in the backyard. So it is quite messy, but it does render a pretty decent result. So I hope you enjoy, and I look forward to having you join me for future videos. Again, my name is Peg, and the channel is Two Old Crows Mixed Media. If you'd hit that subscribe button, I would appreciate it greatly, and I do appreciate all of you that have been with me for a while. Your comments are inspiring, and I appreciate it so much. So thank you once again, and bye for now.